Real Fan Opinions brought to you by Wash and Go. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily. First place we're going to start is Leicester and of course there's been a lot of talk about Harry Maguire especially after his World Cup performances and that he is a target for Manchester United. Now Leicester's manager has come out and said that he's a key part of their team um, and he's not for sale so if Manchester United want him they're going to either have to convince Leicester to sell him um, and that would probably mean stumping up a hell of a lot of money. So, um, interesting one. Obviously, manager's not going to say any differently. Um, he will come out and stick up for his player. But, um, yeah, I don't know whether that one will actually come true. I think maybe he will be at Leicester another season at least. And then maybe he will get his move to one of the top six sides. But, um, yeah, we'll see over the next couple of weeks or not what will actually happen another piece of news is Liverpool are going to sell uh, Divock Origi uh, you remember him they signed him a few years ago it hasn't really worked out hasn't really hit off um, so it looks like they're actually selling him don't know who to or actually who's going to buy him I think he's a talented young player um, but yeah like I said he's had a couple of years of um, bad run and you know luck and whatnot and just hasn't worked out for him Going to go into news about Manchester United and Paul Scholes has got involved over the debate with uh, Mourinho and Pep Guardiola and he has said that Pep Guardiola would hate what's going on at Manchester United and he says that Manchester United will be a completely different side under Pep Guardiola. So that's pretty damning um, to be quite honest with you. It's not really great that when one of the legends of Manchester United starts talking about the rivals um, and that their manager would be completely different and, you know, better, let's be honest. So, yeah, more um, problems for Manchester United, I think. They're not having the greatest of pre-seasons out in America at the moment. Like I said yesterday, Drew 0-0. Um, yeah, Mourinho's got to try and change things around in these last couple of weeks of the window because I think that they're going to struggle this season. So, yeah, there we go. Um, last piece of news involves the legend, the man... Thierry Henry. Reports are that he's going to take over as manager of Aston Villa. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I think it would be a very good step for him. A very good start to life in managerial uh, mode for him. It's a big club. Um, down there in the championship. And if he can guide them up first season, especially back into the Premier League. Wow. Wow. That would be something, wouldn't it? And um, that would only enhance his managerial reputation. Of course, he's left Sky now. He's been assistant manager at... Um, wow. Belgium. That's it. And, um, yeah, this is his real chance now to go out there and do the managerial side of things. And, you know, I think that before he really makes that step, he's going to cut his teeth, um, you know, a bit lower down. And if he does it with Aston Villa and brings them up and then does something in the Premier League with them, then you never know, maybe in a few years he could be coming back home to Arsenal. So that's what I'm hoping anyway. But we'll see. Interesting. Um, don't know what Steve Bruce thinks of that because, of course, he's still manager. But, yeah, for all intents and purposes, looks like Thierry Henry is the new man um, going to be installed at Aston Villa. So there we have it for UFF Daily. I will see you lot tomorrow. By then, I will be out in Singapore for the Arsenal pre-season tour. So um, I'll see you lot then. I'm out of here.